is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning everyone and happy Monday. Let's all get through this week together and we're going to start it off with temperatures in the 30s outside 34 at the Air Force Academy to 36 in Manatee Springs. Just about 30 in Woodland Park, so it is cooler as you get into the other side of the mountains. 32 Monument, 32 into Fort Carson. As we spin things around, there is thicker fog out east into the plains where it's actually warmer, so we're not worried about freezing fog this morning. Down to Trinidad, a little bit warmer as well, but with no fog. The interstate finally getting a little bit of a break over some of the foggy days the last couple days. Colorado Springs was so cloudy, fog and chilly over the last two days. Today it is going to be nicer. We're at 61 degrees for the high temperature with lots of sun. Now, fog and cloud cover will come back tonight ahead of an isolated chance of showers on Tuesday. Now, to be honest, Tuesday is the better chance of showers compared to Wednesday, but on Wednesday I am going to leave an isolated chance of rain in there. But keep in mind, it is not a good chance. Thursday, there could be a pretty impactful snow in the forecast, particularly for El Paso County. So this is something we are going to watch pretty close. I think it could be blizzard light conditions with the amount of wind we're bringing in before we get over to a rain to snow chance Sunday. Now for Pueblo, as we get towards Thursday, we are seeing a rain to snow mixture with a lot of wind. So not as much of an impact because everything would be wetter, but it is something we're going to watch pretty close. We've got an isolated shower chance tomorrow. Other than that, we're dry into Wednesday and then maybe a little isolated rain chance out towards Sunday. Canyon City, I'm still updating the storm impact scales for you and for Woodland Park. So I think that we're going to get an isolated shower chance tomorrow, a rain to snow mixture like Thursday, but with a lower impact similar to what we're going to see in Pueblo. And then finally, Woodland Park, we're going to raise our impact scale for Thursday, probably do a two with some good wind and some heavier snow before a couple more isolated chances of rain the next two days. 